Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my controller collection series, and today we're going to be covering everything from the PCFX to starting on the Nintendo. Okay, so these are my NEC PCFX controllers. I actually have two of them because I got lucky enough to find one online for a fairly decent price. Um, it's got a very interesting connector, um, fairly long cable, um, standard screws in the back, stuff like that. Uh, the D-pad is a little bit of an odd feel, but it works. Um, you know, all the membrane stuff is really well done. Uh, there are multiple modes, uh, mode one, mode two. No turbo function, but um, that might change depending on the game. But like I said, I've got two of them. This one is significantly more yellowed than the other one. This is the one that came with the system. This is the one that I bought uh, a couple, like last year or so, or maybe a few years ago. All right, and get these out of the way. Next we have my Neo Geo AES controllers. Here's the first one. It's a little bit in rough shape. The, uh, the paint on this one is faded. I can definitely tell whoever owned this one previously played this one a lot more than the other. Um, these are aftermarket furniture pads that I actually put on the bottom because the original pads had uh, degraded so much that they were just gone. Um, <clears throat> and I'll go over something else uh, in a second. Uh, this pen, these pens, every once in a while, they work themselves loose on the inside. And um, you can usually just buy an extension cable to replace this whole cable. Um, it is a clicky joystick, which means that it's using micro switches and a gate. Um, actually, it doesn't have a gate, I don't think. But it's using micro switches, and these are still membranes. It's just that they're... Uh, really good membranes and so are the start and select, but this is clicky. So it is a real arcade stick I'll show you the other one Here is the other one as you can tell this paint is a lot in a lot better shape uh, the other thing is you'll notice that the uh, That the ball tops on mine look a little different from your standard and that's because they're replacement ball tops. Uh, I got them from Shore Yukon. Um, here are the normal ball tops. They are definitely a smaller size than, than what's what I've got on there now. I don't mind them being a little bit bigger. I think these are like 25 millimeter and that's a 30. Um, it could be wrong on that. But yeah, this is just, I mean, none of this was mistreated. In fact, uh, these were not cracked when I got them. Uh, and this unit uh, stayed in storage until I got my house and it stayed in storage for many years. And uh, it was in, it was cared for properly and stuff. And uh, some of the oils in the plastic or, or something like that degraded. And these shrunk. And when the plastic shrank, it developed cracks. There's Nothing that anyone can do about this. This happens to all of them. So do not get discouraged. Even though these are perfectly usable, I didn't like the way they looked. So that's why I went ahead and replaced them with these. Let's see. What is else? What's next on the list? Uh, it's going to be the power glove. So this will take a minute to uh, get out and bear with me. Everyone knows what this part is, or at least they should. This is the part that hooks up to the television. It's got a this kind of connector, and then the part for the Nintendo. And these tubes basically uh, come together, and they create this uh, area around the television that helps you helps it discover, you know, where you're pointing with the glove. 
so yes, my power glove is complete. Now, here's the other part of the power glove. The, this is the real part where you have the codes and everything, and my numbers have not worn off. Uh, the plastic is not in the best shape. Uh, my, my blue is kind of eh. Now, here's the fun thing is um, I actually took some gaffer's tape and taped up this Pringles can. That's exactly what this is, is a Pringles can. And there's the cord uh, inside. Now, if you take this off, you'll notice that this part is cut, and that's allowing me to slip the cable in and out. And then I can put this cap back on. Oops. Put the cap back on. And the weight of the cable actually helps this thing, well, when it's sitting on a level surface, helps the thing sit straight up. And it doesn't fall when it's on a level surface. Right now, this isn't a level surface. But that's the power glove. And then, next up, we have, ha, huh. here it is, an original NES controller. Many of you grew up with these things. Um, mine is still in relatively good shape. I've done some things like boil the, the membranes and stuff to rejuvenate them and make them a little bit uh, stiff again. Uh, it still has the same you know, cross pad and everything. Um, again, fairly easy to get into. Uh, a good length cord for back when this came out, not so much in modern times, uh, but it's relatively easy to find multiple uh, very cheap alternatives to extension cables, or you can get the four score, or you can get the satellite, or you know anything like that. Um, and this this is a good staple controller. Uh, a lot of people complain about the the corners with this thing. I never really had that much of an issue because I didn't like death grip this thing. Um, I always played a little bit like this when I was a kid growing up, and just holding it like that. I've kind of had big hands almost my entire life, uh, but you know. You know, I mean, it, it works. It just works. It's a great controller. Uh, I've taken it apart and cleaned it multiple times. Um, this one's a little bit on the dingy side, and I could possibly retro-ride it. I have multiple others, but I just didn't feel like digging them out because they're essentially all the same. All right, and that's it, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.